Hello everybody! Are you sitting in your home office during the corona lockdown? You want to use the time productively and write a journal paper? Do you need to start with a literature review and don't know how to do it right? Let me help you with mastering the literature review for your next paper. Basically, you need to answer the following nine questions if you want to do it right. Question number one. What do you mean by a literature review? A literature review is typically a technique that surveys and studies the research literature on a specific topic in order to get an overview of the knowledge available on this topic. Question number two. Why are you conducting a literature review? There are many potential purposes a literature review can serve. Uh, for instance, to get a complete overview of the state of the art, or to find out what the knowledge gaps are, or to start your own research and understand how your work fits into what is already done, or to give a state of the art lecture or presentation on a specific topic, or to write a review paper or a literature review section for your thesis, or to write a research paper and the literature review helps you to justify your paper objective in the introduction, to justify the methods you used, or to discuss and place your findings in a wider research context. For many of you, being in home offices right now, I guess it is the last purpose. You want to write a research paper and need to start with a literature review. Question number three where to find the literature for review. I suggest you four sources. First one, look into Google Scholar. Second, look into your universities or institutes online library databases. Third, look into journal databases like Science Direct, Scopus, Web of Science, PubMed. Or finally, browse a list of references of relevant papers. Question number four how to search in these literature databases. Identify there the main keywords that characterize your work and use them. Look also for synonyms to these keywords. Use Boolean operators to speed up your search in the databases. And offline is to use the snowball system, which means you go from one relevant paper through its list of references to many other relevant papers and their references. Question number five, how to select the literature you review. Start with the most recent references. Look for well-known authors. Look for well-cited references. Look for journal papers instead of other publication types. Question number six. How to read the literature you review? Skim and screen the papers. Skim and screen them only. Don't read them completely. So you start with the title and the abstract. Then you look for the objectives at the end of the introduction. Then you browse the section headings to get an overview. Then you browse the references. And then you look at the conclusion. Question number seven. How to make notes from what you read? Ideally, you need to touch or screen every paper only once in your literature review exercise. So you could either annotate the paper directly on the paper or you use review notes to write down the information on every paper. To make it easy for you, we created a worksheet called Literature Review Notes that you can download for free on our Smart Academics blog. Look for the blog post number 50. There you can download it for free. Question number eight. How to structure a written literature review? Different possibilities. Chronological, thematic, methodological or theoretical. Question number nine. How much time should you spend on the literature review? You could spend months, if not years, to get a full overview on the state of the art. But you don't want to spend so much time and you don't have it. You need the literature review just for that one paper. So I recommend you, you spend two to three weeks. That should be fine. Don't forget, you don't need to know everything. Often you just need three, four, five key references for your paper. 
In the lengthy literature reviews, boring for your readers, who are experts like you, and they would skip this lengthy section anyway. Okay guys, if you answer these nine questions, you are well prepared to master the literature review for your next paper. If you want to use our free worksheet, literature review notes, or want to read everything in full detail, go to our Smart Academics blog, look for the post number 50. There, everything is there. Good luck with your literature review. By the way, if you are looking for help with writing your next journal paper, we offer a unique live online course called How to Publish in Peer-Reviewed Journals that guides you step-by-step step through drafting a paper on the course. Interested? Check the link below or in the comments box and register today.